And all we're going to do is just go through the basics of pitching. All right, so you're just going to Scenes from the here. recent CYSS Sports so Clinic with the Baltimore Orioles. It's the 1st of June and summer's just about here. Hello and welcome to Mead Week. I'm Brian Spann. On this edition, the Army birthday is coming up. The Farmer's Market makes a return. We'll take a look at the Army Field Band Summer Concert Series, these stories and more. But first, a reminder from the Vehicle Control Center, Fort Meade's main gate at Reese Road and Maryland Route 175 will be closed this Thursday, June 4th, for maintenance. Directorate of Emergency Services officials say that the work should be completed within one day and the gate should reopen by the next duty day. During the closure, the Mapes Road and Route 175 gate will be open and serve as the Vehicle Control Center. Meanwhile, back to our summer theme, recently Child Youth and School Services held a youth baseball clinic. Current Orioles Dan O'Day and Brad Brock, Get plus Orioles alum Ken Dixon, instructed more than 100 area youth in some fundamentals. Do not stop when you hit the base, okay? The reason we do that is because when you're actually in a game, when you run through the base, you have a better chance of being safe. The clinic is just one way that the Orioles support Fort Meade and local service members. The Orioles hold a series of military appreciation days, like the recent Memorial Day holiday with Garrison Commander Colonel Brian Foley throwing out the first pitch. The Orioles also make a big contribution to the Fort Meade community for every Sunday home game. Ownership, management, leadership, players, coaches, staff, the, the Orioles organization supports our U.S. military better than any baseball team, period. Oh. These guys give us 500 free tickets for every Sunday home game for us to use for free. So please, if you have not taken advantage of that, please come to Parks and Rec and do that and take advantage and get those free tickets. You might have been in the stands this past Sunday for the game against Tampa Bay. Your next opportunity, as it turns out, will be June 14th, the Army's 240th birthday. Tickets are made available the week of the game on Thursdays for active duty and their families and on Fridays for the rest of the community. Speaking of the Army birthday, Fort Meade's observance is coming up on Friday, June 12th. The Fort Meade chapter of the Association of the United States Army, or AUSA, is hosting its annual birthday breakfast at 7.30 at Club Meade. This year's guest speaker is Medal of Honor recipient Lieutenant Colonel Alfred Rascon. Tickets are available at the Fort Meade Community Credit Union, with a limited number available at the door. Meanwhile, here's a birthday message from the Army Chief of Staff and the Sergeant Major of the Army. On our Army's 240th birthday, we remember who we are, soldiers, America's trusted professionals. Throughout this nation's history, millions of men and women have fought for our freedoms. Today is no different, as we have over 140,000 soldiers deployed or forward stationed protecting our nation's freedoms. We can never forget the sacrifice of our soldiers, civilians, and families who have made us Army strong. Happy, Happy birthday, United, United States, States Army. Army. In other news for the second straight year, MWR is holding a weekly farmer's market every Wednesday starting June 10th and running through September 9th. The hours are 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. There is one significant change from last year. This year's market will be held in the pavilion versus the Smallwood Hall parking lot. The market is open to the general public. For more information, go to www.ftmeadmwr.com. Elsewhere, the United States Army Field Band, based right here at Fort Meade, spends most of the year touring cross-country and around the world. During the summer, however, they offer the Fort Meade community a special series of summer concerts for the local community. This year's series kicks off with the Jazz Ambassadors on Saturday, August 1st at 7 p.m. The show features 100 years of holiday. The full concert band and soldiers chorus performs at 7 p.m. on Saturday, August 8th. The volunteers take the stage on August 15th with a special show titled Kings of the Highway, America's Road Music. The summer concert series wraps up on August 22nd with the concert band and soldiers chorus. We've had issues with weather in recent years, but the 1812 Overture, complete with cannon fire, is scheduled for this year. Once again, the summer concerts start at 7 p.m. at Constitution Park. That's just across the street from the McLaughlin Parade Field. For more information, go to www.armyfieldband.com. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great Mead Week.